Hi, I'm James Nave. Welcome to the Imaginative Storm Writing Prompt of the Week session. Thank you ever so much for tuning in. Allegra Houston, my creative collaborator, is not, is not with me today. She's on a trip, so I'm going it solo. What we do every Saturday morning on a Zoom call, Allegra and I gather with a group of writers. We call our session the Imaginative Storm Writing Prompt of the Week session. And after each session, we record a video like I'm doing now and offer it to you so you can have, the, have a similar experience to the people that, that show up every Saturday morning on the Zoom call. If you would like to be on that Zoom call with us live and in person, imaginativestorm.com, that's our website, and you will find the Zoom link at the top of the fold. Here's what's going to happen. We're going to show you an image and when you see the image, you have two minutes to jot down words or phrases based on the response you have to the image, the emotional response. Maybe the image will pop out one word and that one word will lead you to the next and the next and the next. So write as many words or, or phrases as, as you can in, in the upcoming two minute time frame. You now have your personal list. So what I would like to offer you as well is, is the community list that we generated this morning. And the way it worked, everybody did what you just did. And when we were finished, I went around the Zoom room and got one word from each person and we made a list. And that list became our community list. And when the community list pops up, you will see that it's arbitrary. We just pick the words out of thin air, if you will. So what I'd like to do now is read those words to you so you will have the community list and your personal list. So here we go. Soaring, old, ephemeral, heaven, nowhere, sun spray, camaraderie, gravity, atmosphere, wild, joy, Highway, mighty, we, exuberant, unworried, flying, perspective, glee, unfettered, fearless, abrasive, weightless, uplifted, launch. You probably have already noticed that within any list of words, 
you will find interesting images just sitting there looking right back at you, like the first three words in the list I just read, soaring old ephemeral, or add the fourth word, soaring old ephemeral heaven. How about nowhere sun spray or camaraderie gravity? How about exuberant, unworried flying perspective? So without any effort at all, you can go down a list like this and find all sorts of things. And so these combinations are always sitting there for you and your imagination loves it. So now you have two lists. So you're going to do what we do every Saturday morning. I'm going to ask you to write for 10 minutes and use the words on this list that you have in front of you, the one you made for yourself, your personal list, and the list that we now have offered you, and write for 10 minutes and make something happen. Doesn't matter what it is. Maybe a little rule of thumb. Keep it messy. Have a little fun with it. And you can use all of the words, <laughs> if you have time in the 10 minutes, all of the words on both the list, or use one word, or none of the words. You can take 10 minutes and write a, a haiku, or you can put your pen down and write as fast as you possibly can. The underlying idea here is to let your imaginative mind do the work. And, give it, and while your imaginative mind is doing the work, it's giving your rational mind something, to, something to, to work with as well. So we say stay in your rational mind and let your imaginative mind collaborate with your rational mind. And we like to say it's a dance. Your imaginative mind is dancing with your rational mind and your rational mind is following while your imaginative mind leads. The dance of words, really. So, it's now time for you to write for 10 minutes. And your dance begins now.
If you are pleased with what you wrote, we have an opportunity for you to share it with our community. We have a platform called the Imaginative Storm Circle Community. And on that platform, we have a space for you to put what you wrote so that we can read it. Add to the community. Add your words to the community. You can also add a video, which would be nice because you add your, your image as well as your voice to the community. That way we get a chance to read your work, interact with it, make comments on it. You can read the work of others and do the same. And we will get to know you better, which is part of what community is all about. So Allegra will now explain to you exactly how you can post what you just wrote on the Imaginative Storm Circle community. So when you go to imaginativestorm.com, you'll see the Zoom link for the Saturday morning writing prompt of the week here and also here. And if you continue to scroll down, you will find join us on Circle. Click that link. And when you get there for the first time, you will find a, a thing sort of up here in the top right saying join or, or you know, log in or something like that. I can't remember. So you can log in with your Google or Facebook ID or create a new ID and password. It's free. And when you've done that, it will look like this. So here are four spaces that explain to you kind of what we're about and what we're doing here on the circle. And over on the left, you will see this area, share your writing. And here is prompt of the week. Click on that. And you will see all the prompts of the week since we first started doing this in order from most recent at the top. So when you get there, the most recent prompt will be posted. We usually, we have it posted by um, the end of the day on Saturday. And when you click on it, you'll see the prompt itself, the community list, and then whatever pieces of writing the other people who've done the prompt have posted. And those are comments attached to the post. So if you scroll down to the bottom, like so, you will get to a place where it's inviting you to make a comment. And that's where you can type out what you wrote to the prompt. I don't know if you noticed as I was scrolling through, there was one person here who actually recorded a selfie video of herself reading what she wrote and she posted that. So feel free to do that if you would like to do that. When you've posted a comment, other people can hit like or hit reply if they want to comment specifically um, and say you know, what in the piece popped for them. Feel free to, to um, add those, you know, those comments, those uh, moments of praise for what other people have written. We ask you not to be critical because as you know, these are pieces that are only written in 10 minutes. So um, criticism, negative criticism um, is really, you know, just not relevant. What we want to know as writers is what we've created that has energy, what pops for you as a reader, what do you find surprising and intriguing. So if you have that response to a piece of somebody else's that you read here, please do hit reply and let them know. Also over here, you will see a space to post for the daily prompts that we put on social media. And here, one last lunch. I won't tell you much about it other than that it's a book that I contributed to. And I think it's one of the most interesting writing prompts ever devised. So I do encourage you to try that out as well. We look forward to reading your work, so thank you for posting. And before, before I go, I wanted just to remind you once again, join us on Saturday morning, 10 o'clock Mountain Time, noon Eastern Time, for our Imaginative Storm Writing Prompt of the Week session. It's fun. We laugh. We, we talk about things. Not only do we write and read our work aloud, and it only takes an hour, at the top of the hour, we stop and ask the group to offer some questions, maybe discussion questions, or, or maybe observations. And we'll go sometimes 45 minutes, usually half an hour, just discussing things. It's very good, and, and people laugh a lot. It's good fun. So imaginativestorm.com, if you'd like to join us for that, you'll find the Zoom link 
at the top of the fold. I also wanted to remind you we have some, some books. Um, check this out. Uh, how to edit and be edited. How to read for an audience. And how to make a speech. And we also have uh, an imaginative storm a book coming up soon on, on how you can really dive deeper and deeper and deeper into the stormy ideas that we've been working so much with over the last couple of years. So if you'd like to find out more about our books, how to read for an audience, how to edit and be edited, and how to make a speech, you can find those at imaginativestorm.com. And the thing I, I, I like most about these books, or at least the book covers, uh, you, have, you, have, you can see this, you have little, little dragonflies. And this is really clever, how the dragonflies start at one end over here, and they're a little confused, they're not quite edited, and then when they come out on this end, they're all in order. So from the imaginative storm to the creative form, how to edit and be edited. And we have some workshops too, in addition to the Saturday morning time together. And you can find our workshops under writer training uh, on imaginativestorm.com. So I think that pretty much sums up everything for right now. Thank you for taking the time to pursue your own writing process. We, we appreciate that, and, I, and we hope you, that you, you've enjoyed yourself. And, and hey, come on Saturday, join us, or send us an email, or just show up at some point down the line. And until then, thank you ever so much for tuning in and doing the work, and we'll catch you a little bit later, we hope.